we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. We are here in Mandai, ready to check out the bird paradise, which has just been opened. I'm very excited about this. I was super keen. I stayed up till midnight to make sure that we got tickets because I didn't want to miss out coming. So yeah, very happy to be here. I'm feeling slightly mixed. I am a big fan, was a big fan of Jurong Bird Park. It was part of my childhood. Yeah. And so I am, I have, I'm filled with anticipation and hope that this is going to be wonderful, which I'm sure it will be. Um, we are actually stood in the arrival plaza for a brand new park that is still yet to be finished. Um, I think it's called like a rainforest zoo or something like that, I don't know. Um, but it's, this is kind of the arrival plaza for it. We are still about 100, 150 meters away from Bird Paradise and we're going to be walking there now. Yeah, if you take the um, shuttle bus, there's, it's like the first stop and then it continues on to the zoo. So it's got its own little bit. So yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Before you go, please hit subscribe. Please hit like. Um, all the things we love to do. We are fast racing towards 10K subscribers and it Yay. would make our year if you were able to do that for us. It Thank would. you very much. Enjoy the day with us. Let's go. We are in the arrival plaza. It is really, really big. It is, feels like it's really accommodating for a lot of crowds, which is excellent. We're just on the outside and it already feels very, very exciting. There's a really, really cool little pathway which we could go through. Um, it actually wasn't the pathway to the arrival plaza. We figured that out um, the hard way. But we're here and we're excited to go in. Thank you. I bought our tickets online, you have to buy them online, so if you are a tourist visiting Singapore and you want to come to any of the zoos, you can buy your tickets online. Um, there's an app here that can kind of guide you around the parks. So there are daily shows as well, so it's worth checking out all of those and planning your day around the show timings if you want to catch them and try and pack in as much as you can in a day. We've got memberships, so we can come back whenever we like, but I think that app is a great idea to plan if you want to just make sure you see absolutely everything here if it's your only visit. What's really cool is like at Jurong when you go into the main bit after you've had your tickets you've got to work, walk towards the right uh, to be able to get to the penguins and that's exactly what it is here obviously they wouldn't have done everything exactly the same but I think for me it was just a nice a nice start yeah it's great Wow Penguin Cove is awesome like I'm thinking of the other one small little area this one the tanks are huge vertical like cylindrical you can see the penguins swimming all around it's this like there's going to be a penguin restaurant here so you can sit here and see the penguins as they go past looks amazing and i've only just stepped foot inside the entrance this is so cool in the former bird park there wasn't this much depth this probably goes up i'm guessing about seven meters it might go down another couple so maybe it's 10 meters deep potentially um, and i can just about see uh, just looking through that you can go up to the top and have a little look at the penguins on the top what a cool <laughs> cool enclosure for these penguins um, and they're just diving down it's, it's pretty cool this place is so cool. I want to come here every single day. There are family friendly lifts here and they almost look like little aquariums that go up and down. We're just going to go up and see whether we can see some of the penguins on the top of the surface rather than underneath. Even though it's really busy in here, it doesn't feel too squished because this tank is just absolutely huge. It goes all the way around and we've come at feeding time which is awesome and you can hear kids go, what? You ate the whole thing and it's great to be able to come and see it. The penguins here have so much more space than they used to have. They've got real ice in there which is great. They've got um, birds that you would find in the region flying around as well. Yeah, awesome. So we've come out of the penguin section and we're here in the Australian outback. We've looked up and there is a net above our heads. We're really, really excited because we are gonna be heading to Australia in the summer and hopefully bringing you along on the journey. But we're here now in the Australian outback 
and hopefully we'll be able to find some kookaburras, mate. Maybe a few parrots too. This huge aviary is all themed um, Australia, which is awesome. There's like these big rocks everywhere. Yeah, really enjoying it. It's really immersive. Yeah, it's got like <laughs> this Disney vibe because you go through the different sections and everything's changed. Um, like you can see this kind of like set behind us, which is pretty cool. Um, and But it does kind of, it places you in a different place. And I guess that's the whole point. It's meant to transport you somewhere else and experience not just the, the birds themselves, but the nature and everything um, and what they would experience in their kind of natural habitat, I guess. <laughs> Because there's more birds together in this huge aviary, you really have to look out for them. There's some of them that are quite camouflaged, hidden, you can hear them, but you're not quite sure where they are, so you really do have to look out for them, which I love. It kind of feels just like naturally spotting them in their environment, which is really, really lovely. They've definitely got a whole more space around here. There's lorries in here. One of my favourite things about the last one was the lorry loft. That was always my favourite place to go to uh, when I first went, I was scared of it. But then after that, um, yeah, I grew to love that place, so glad that we're making more memories here today. And I think there's more birds here than there maybe was at the bird park, or maybe we just didn't see those ones at the bird park for whatever reason. But here, you can spot all of them about. I don't know if you get the same impression through the screen, um, but for us here, it feels like you're actually out in nature. I mean, um, you're having to look for the birds everywhere. They're not in an enclosure per se that you just see and go, oh yeah, that's, that's it, it's behind glass. We're in this huge aviary and when we look into all the trees and you look really, really carefully, you can see different birds out, which is really, really cool. Um, I do wonder how many I've missed walking around here because it is pretty, um, it's pretty hard to spot them all. And so I'm sure um, on a return visit, there'll be more here that we haven't seen. This looks cool. It feels like we're in a ranger's hut and there are some parrots in the rafters of the ceiling here, which is really cool. Um, having a great day. and We're only, I think, two enclosures down, two sections down. Um, I actually haven't done any research on uh, bird paradise before we came out today, so I don't know how many areas there are to check out, but there's got to be more than two. So um, I'm yeah, very excited to see what is next. Oh, yeah. Kookaburra. I wanted to see one today and I did. That's good, isn't it? It's particularly hot at the moment and um, we've come out of that Australian outback into what we can only really describe as a cool off room, yeah. uh, which has got aircon in it for anybody who loves aircon. Everybody <laughs> needs aircon today. So yeah, it's warm, um, but it's good to have a moment to cool down and then we're gonna head off. We're in the section now called Mysterious Papa and uh, some of our good friends Ben and Beth have just been in Papua New Guinea doing some amazing medical aid and they told us some fantastic stories of the country and their experiences so it's kind of cool to experience a little bit of what they might have experienced too. There's lots of really interesting planting around here, lots of plants that we haven't seen before, some like fruits and flowers that we haven't seen. Um, there's lots of little information things along the way, so we're learning about the different plants and the birds as we go, which I always enjoy doing. There's lots of people with like proper full on big bird watching cameras here, so if you're not sure where there's a bird, look at the camera and see what it's pointing to, and then you're sure to be able to spot the bird. Um, great little tip. I do that when I go around end parks as well, if I don't know quite what I'm looking at, or I just say, hey, like, what are you looking at? Can you point it out? And most of the bird watchers are happy to just point it out. But uh, yeah, we're in the next pen. Next pen, it's not a pen. We're in the next aviary, which is great. They've got different sections that are sectioned off with all kind of wood barriers, which is nice because the um, different birds have their own sections, but then you can kind of walk through and see everything. <laughs> higher points of the park and it's amazing we can look out and see just how vast it is um, it feels huge even though I understand it's actually slightly smaller than Jurong Bird Park but the way it's been laid out is in a way that makes everything seem absolutely massive and I think it's brilliant <laughs> This area 
area I think is my favorite so far. It just feels so much bigger, so much wider, so open, like you've got all of the birds in the middle and you're kind of walking around the edge instead of the other ones you're walking through. It is a really busy day. It's only like the first few uh, weeks that it's been open. Um, so this just feels a lot more open and it kind of looks like rice paddy fields, like in Bali or something. They've got buildings around, kind of thatched roofs and things like that. This one is, is great and I keep looking up and around because I can see birds flying all around. This one is, yeah, this one is my favorite so far. bits are so cool and it just reminded me of when I had the opportunity earlier this year to be able to plant some rice shoots in a paddy field in Thailand and I actually received a photo recently showing me what the harvest looked like now so have a little look at it now in case you're interested and also check out that episode because it was pretty cool. There's a little sign here for an adventure trail which is really cool I think it's not like so adventurous but it is not as paved as normal so we're going to take it on and um, see what it's like great little interactive things that the kids can get involved in. Actually I say kids, I was doing it just now as well. But you get to find out the call of the bird by pulling these different rods and it's really cool. It's keeping the children really engaged with the thing. It doesn't like, it's not making fake irritating noises either which is really nice. It just kind of blends into nature. I know you can hear it a lot now but it kind of blends into the nature of everything which is really lovely. Um, and we are kind of continuing to walk through what feels like jungly, well planted, forested bits where Leaves are brushing past your arms as you go, and I love it, it's really cool. It is coming up to one o'clock maybe, so we are gonna go and check out what the food options are, all feeling a bit hungry. There is a um, splash play area here, it's quite different to the last one, but it still looks pretty good for cooling off. And there's a whole other play area here, so there's loads more spaces. So decided to both go uh, western mac and cheese and chicken nuggets they often pick that when we're here I guess it's not often an option when we go to food courts out I've got pineapple fried rice with chicken um, Aspen and I were looking around for somewhere to refill our water bottles because at the zoo there's like loads of water fill up stations at every restroom but there doesn't seem to be one here which I'm a little surprised about actually that there isn't anywhere to fill up with water um, but uh, yeah, you can get drinks here, but uh, hopefully we can find a good water. So we're going to enjoy lunch. Um, there's a show happening at 2.30 that we want to make sure we catch. So we're just going to chill out here for a little bit and then head over and catch the show. We've loaded into the brand new Sky Amphitheatre for the Predator on Wings show. This place is enormous. It's huge. 
and there's so many people packed in. We were a bit worried when we saw the queue first of all that we might not get in. And then now that the queue has like disappeared, everyone's in and there's more people still coming in and there's still loads of empty spaces everywhere. Uh, we realized quite just how big this amphitheater is. We're very much looking forward to the show um, and to see everything that it holds. Yeah. You all feeling good? Um, the sound system in here is really clear, which is really nice, it just adds to the whole atmosphere. They use a big screen on this one and they show the, like other clips, other photos, and again to teach about conservation and how to look after the animals, busting myths about the vultures. Really amazing, some of these vultures I hadn't seen before. Um, yeah, and I'm always blown away about how they are able to train these birds to do this. So we are now on an escalator taking us up to the lorry loft. Back when we first went to the Jurong Bird Park in, goodness, 2014, Millie was scared of birds. She found it like a phobia. Uh, but now she loves them. And the reason why was because of the lorry loft back at the Jurong Bird Park. So we're really excited to be at this one too. in the lorry loft I would definitely say there are less birds here at the moment than there were at Jurong Bird Park I don't know whether they're introducing them slowly obviously this is currently soft launch time and the big launch I think comes later so um, it might just be that they haven't introduced all of them here we can hear them though it sounds great the bridge we just walked across is very much like the other one that used to go all the way through with all the parrots and the lorries and I felt one kind of brush my head as it flew past. They've got much more space in this area. It is harder to spot them so you have to really look around and it's nice. We've been encouraged to like keep moving because lots of people were gathering around the parrots but uh, the good thing is yeah we can come back, we can go round again. Uh, being so close to the parrots is so cool. There's a girl having a picture taken one that's nibbling her seat but uh, it's really nice to just get up close with the animals. These indoor sections give a really good bit of respite from the heat outside but also provide a nice little educational area for the kids to be really really engaged in all sorts of different ways. I don't, don't know if your kids or the kids you know are like ours or whether you're like ours where um, our kids um, would get bored just constantly with the same thing and so to be able to have a bit of interactive um, activities to do in between each of the sections is a real win. Walking through these aviaries is just like one big one, which is great. I guess they're in different sections because of the different birds, maybe can't live together or um, whatever, but each one is slightly different to the other, which is great, and it does feel like going through one nice long nature walk. who hang out near where I work, which is cool. Sometimes I see them sitting on top of the um, lamppost on my way into work in the early mornings. But there are some toucans in the tree just over here, and I'm really pleased I spotted it because I thought I saw them earlier and then I couldn't find them for the life of me, and now I found them. This 
artificial tree behind me is amazing really I thought it was real from the outside when I went inside I was like of course it's not real but um, now that I'm looking at it from the outside it feels like yeah it's like a set it's like a movie set almost like a Disneyland Universal sort of set and it works so perfectly in this bird park it's brilliant We've just walked out of one of those air-con cool uh, rooms in between the different sections to the Crimson Wetlands, which is the bit that I think I've been most looking forward to, although I have to say that Asian uh, aviary was fantastic and will definitely be something I look forward to coming back. Um, but this is the section where they have rebuilt the famous waterfall from Jurong. Um, maybe not exactly the same one, but one nonetheless, uh, which still, kind of has that Jurong vibe to it so I'm really looking forward to checking it out now. Wow, um, this is just expansive, vast and beautiful. It feels so natural even though obviously it's a planted park. The floor that we're walking on looks like floorboards even though or wooden boards even though it is concrete um, and that waterfall looks so natural even though it's completely man-made um, I was just saying to Millie just then like thinking back to Jurong Bird Park just a few months ago on our last visit there I definitely had moments where I was thinking to myself how are they going to top it how are they going to make it any better than it already has been um, timeless ageless and then you come here and you sort of think they smashed it out of the bird park um, so yeah it's amazing I hope you're enjoying it through the screen as much as we're enjoying the day here today behind the waterfall it's absolutely amazing I love the way that I guess the, the breeze that's coming off the water feels like a natural waterfall although the water looks so clear it's very inviting I almost want to get in not almost I want to get in I think that'd be amazing but we can't I can't stop thinking what an amazing job they have done to make this feel like a natural habitat for the birds it feels like we're out somewhere on some sort of bird safari yeah. and we're in the jungle and we're spotting these animals or these birds here there and everywhere whereas we're actually in an enclosure I mean if I look up you might just be able to see I mean it's a beautiful day and the sky is blue but you can just see the lines of the enclosure and so we are inside a giant aviary but it really doesn't feel like it it is quite spectacular The kids are having a great time in the water play. It's great, nice that they've got a space to just cool off. Um, there is just an air conditioned room over the other side where the change rooms are with just bean bags. If you need to just get away from the heat or I guess you've got a baby that might need to sleep. Um, the water play is really nice, just enough to kind of have a half an hour break. There's a cafe here. They have sold out of a lot of stuff. I mean, it's five to five, so maybe just supply and demand. They didn't realize how many people um, we're going to be coming this weekend, so Jonty's gone to the other place to get us some cold drinks. Um, we promised the kids they could come here before we went home, so we're here. And then I think we've only got a small part of the park left to explore. And wow, my mind's buzzing from the park. I kind of can't get my like geography of it because there's so many places we've been to, but it's really lovely. Um, yeah, a great day. The kids have had a wonderful time at the water play. We were going to go to the Sky Amphitheatre for one more show, but. <laughs> We thought we'd better to give the kids a chance to have a good run around as they're having such a good time. It's always good to hold your plans loosely in your hand um, because things often change. So what we're going to be doing is um, heading off uh, very soon. There's one more section that we need to go to, we need to check out and we need to take you along to and that is called the Heart of Africa. We only just thought when we saw the trams there that we haven't taken a tram yet today. Um, we haven't felt the need to, it's so well laid out. Don't actually know where the tram goes. We haven't seen it rolling around the park, but the walking route that we've done has been so straightforward, so simple. 
um, this place has been laid out beautifully so um, no no concerns there with having missed out on anything um, uh, but we will try it at some point just to uh, just to experience it um, we are about 150 meters walk away from the heart of Africa So it's really cool, we've got these like hornbills, um, we're in Africa, and up there's Pride Rock and I just want to have someone dressed up as that monkey guy, Rafiki, holding up the little lion cub, <laughs> it would be so cool. Everything in here is themed and decorated again for that really immersive experience and we've got like 15-16 minutes so we're going to keep going so that we can soak in every little thing for today. What an amazing view behind me, it's just like jungle, we're over the top of it and it looks like it's expansive just going for ages and ages and ages. It's one of those lovely views that you don't often get here in Singapore but when you get to see it it's just a moment where you can just stop, stand, stare, breathe it all in and just enjoy. There's a load of really, really cool nests just to my left uh, where these birds obviously have created these nests. They, they look almost man-made to start with, but the more I look at them, the more I realise they've just been built beautifully around um, all sorts of different types of birds in there. Um, there's one I'm just looking at, there's a yellow bird right now. Another one was like a big brown and blue, I think, coloured bird. Um, just, I guess they're nesting, they're getting um, everything going. For, um, to have a family. I love that it doesn't just look great, it's obviously a really amazing um, habitat for all of the animals too. I feel like we're seeing a lot more birds in this enclosure. It might just be because there's lots of food just been put out for them, so they're all flying around a little bit more, or maybe these ones are just a bit more active the time of day. Uh, not sure, but this is one definitely not to miss out on. And it's right near the exit as well, so you can either come in here first, and then do the penguins as you leave or we did the penguins first and then here as we left but this is just amazing all flying around it's great loving it and these bridges a little bit of a nod to the old bird park which is great too i like these rope bridges they're pretty cool um they definitely feel like less industrialized and a little bit more like i don't know indiana jones uh, which is cool. You can hear little waterfalls down below from us as well, which is really awesome. Uh, it just feels so natural and um, what a beautiful habitat for these beds. It is 6.01 which means the park shut officially a minute ago so we're gonna make our way out before we have to spend a night here although that would be pretty cool too. <laughs> just lovely at the former bird park at Jurong this little area was pretty much just for feeding if you look down it was like a rainforest floor but there wasn't a lot going on but what they've done here is that they've created the whole floor is like a giant water feature basically and it's just stunning the um, the birds are kind of walking around drinking some water there's little ducklings having a great time it's so like sensory it's it's, it's unbelievable Millie was just saying that she thinks this is actually one of her favorite bits um, oh here she comes yeah, I think this might be my favourite section actually. Yeah, it's... I don't know, you just, it's n noisier in here, like the sounds of the birds and they're flying around a bit more. It's totally yeah. immersive. The whole park is totally immersive. It is. I'm loving it. Need to come. I think I need to come back. Yes. <laughs> I love that this shelter is not just a shelter, but look above, it has just been decorated beautifully what a great place oh 
We're still wandering around, it's way past six now, so we're gonna have to look for an exit real soon. My top three things today are this place here, um, Africa, right? And um, the play area, the water play area, and the waterfall. What are your top three things, love? My top three things are the water play, the playground, and the mac and cheese. <laughs> Any of the birds? Oh yes, the Victoria. We're back at the arrival plaza, or the entrance plaza, um, and what we didn't spot on our way in is this little section behind us, which is kind of a, it's smaller, mm -hmm. smaller aviaries, but then we realise it's the conservation centre. Um, I think they call it the sanctuary, which is awesome, and this is where they try to help with birds who are endangered, um, they try to have breeding programmes, there's a research centre, a nursery for little chicks, so it's a really, really special little place. I love it. Today has just been outstanding i honestly came in with eyes i think you could remember at the beginning of the video i felt a little bit unsure because i knew that i was going to miss you wrong but this place is just outstanding i don't really know what else to say about it i, I want to come back tomorrow already um, and i would fully recommend you coming i know a lot of people like to watch our videos and live vicariously through our videos but this has to be experienced firsthand it is it's pretty special. Oh, definitely. And I'm already coming, like, looking forward to coming back. And um, we've got some family visiting at Christmas. And just to kind of take everything in, like, I think well, you can't see everything in one go. No, we've <laughs> done really well. I think we've pretty we much have. covered everything. But yeah, I think like we've seen everything. But to just there's so much more to take in when you start spotting yeah. all the little bits of like. So I was so busy focused on the birds. I think then when I looked again, I was like, oh wow, there's a waterfall here and. There's loads of other little features that they've decorated with to just give the whole fully immersive. We've mentioned that a few times. Yeah. I think that is the thing here, because you're walking through and every section feels like you're completely immersed in that kind of geographical location or what yeah, they're trying to achieve with the decoration. It's been great. I'm so impressed. Um, I hope you have been too. I hope you've enjoyed our video um, and that um, you will like, you'll subscribe, you'll share it with your friends, tell everyone that you need to come to the bird park, but they need to watch this video first. <laughs> Yes, we do appreciate all of your comments. If you've been here, let us know what you think about it. If you haven't been, let us know uh, what bits you're looking forward to the most. Um, yeah, that's all from us for today. See you soon. Bye.